Hi, good morning guys and welcome to the Stutzman channel. Now today we're going to be looking at a ultrasonic diagnostic tool and we're going to try to actually use it for some diagnostics here this morning. Now let's talk about the tool itself a little bit. Okay? If you come over here and let me turn this around. Now this is just one example of the many tools that you can get out there. Typically you will get a receiver you will get a transmitter, you will get a solid rod, being typically aluminum, and then you will get a hollow tube that's also used. And you will also get headphones to go with this. Now in this case, I'm going to do something a little different so that you guys can actually hear. I'm going to take the receiver and I'm going to hook it up to this here little speaker. Unit. Oh my god, that looks great. I wonder where you got that from. From you. Thank you. Yeah, this is what we use. Uh, Soraya uses this to hook up to her iPhone, you know, to listen to music and songs and whatnot. So we're going to listen to this unit using this here. All right, so getting back to the unit, what can it do? All right, it can tech. It can detect pressure leaks. It can also detect vacuum leaks. It can also detect electrical radiation. Let's say if you have some bad spot plug wires and it's leaking you know, through the insulation, it can pick up that. Uh, it can also pick up bad bearings. And that is what we're going to be focused on today. So we have this here Buick LeSabre and this here when you crank it up and start it, you can hear a pulley, a bearing, you know, on one of these here accessories. Sometimes it'll go, sometimes it comes, it's off and on, off and on. So it's kind of intermittent. All right, so we're going to use it to try to determine what is bad. You know, is it our alternator bearing? Is it our power steering? Is it our uh, water pump? Is it the uh, AC compressor? So that's what we're going to be looking at. Okay, now getting back to the bearings itself. The tools, ultrasonic tools, is used a lot in the industry. Now what they do is they do a baseline, because you can get more expensive tools than what I have here. And you can actually hook it up to software, and then you can record a baseline, say, on a good bearing. You'll get the frequency, you'll get the amplitude of that signal, and then say every three months in a PM check, then you'll come back and you'll look and compare the signals to see if this bearing is starting to fail. Now the good thing about ultrasonics is that when a bearing starts to fail, the first thing it's going to do is generate ultrasonic sound waves. Now of course a human ear cannot pick this up, but an ultrasonic tool can. It will take the ultrasonic sound waves and it will convert it into an audio frequency that you can hear. And the beauty of it, using super heterodyning and mixing the frequencies here, it can actually take that ultrasonic frequency, when it converts it to an audio frequency, it's going to be a sound that sounds like in the real world. So you can detect like vacuum leaks, pressure leaks, what wheel bearing noises will sound like, and so on. Okay, so now let's get ready, and we're going to set the tool up, and we're going to go ahead, and we're going to go ahead and see what we if we can find out which bearing is bad on this here car. Alright, I have the unit hooked up. Now as a test, I have the hollow tube on there now. You can hear, it like, sounds like static in the background. Yeah. Okay. Now as a test to make sure the unit is working, you can take your fingers, be about a foot away from the end of this here hollow tube, mm. and just rub your fingers together. That's how sensitive this here device is. Now what I'm going to do now, since we're checking for a bearing noise, we want a solid conductor. So I'm going to take the hollow tube out, and now I'm going to use this solid rod. Okay. Soraya asked, well, which one of these here, you know, do How you... How do you know which one to use? Okay, the hollow tube is, is going to be used, like if you're going to be checking, uh, you know, pressures, vacuum leaks. Uh, electrical discharge off of uh, wiring, you know, things of that sort. And speaking of uh, pressure leaks, 
I've been really successful in, in finding refrigerant leaks with this here. I found it on, you know, one I found, as you saw in a video a little while back, on a Volkswagen Jetta. Oh, yeah. Where we were, we found a leak on the, uh, you know, the receiver, the receiver dryer. Also, I have been successful where I've taken this tube and just stick it down into the vent, center vent, uh, you know, or actually the closest vent that's over to the evaporator, and actually was able to hear the hissing of the refrigerant coming out of the evaporator. So I was successful in that. So it's very sensitive. It will detect that. The solid rod is used typically for listening to something that's solid contact, say for it. You're going to be putting this probe directly onto the component that you're listening to. And in that case, that's going to be for wheel bearings or, you know, or any type of bearings that you want to investigate as far as the noise of where it's coming from. So, in that case, that's what we're going to be doing. Okay. Okay. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to each one of these components. You probably may not hear me from over there on the car because we're going to use the maximum length of this cable. It's about 10 feet long, so we can get the engine noise in the background as much as we can. What I want you to listen to is a speaker that Soraya is holding, and then I'll put some uh, text in there to let you know which component we're testing. Okay, I just turned the car off, you know, so we don't have to listen to that background noise. Appreciate that. Yep. And uh, so the stepson, he called me and asked me, you know, what are we going to do with this car? And, you know, who's going to get rid of it? I mean, it's, I mean, the powertrain, you know, the engine, transmission, everything's still good, but it's got some, it's got some issues, you know. Front valve cover gasket is leaking, you know, and it's got some uh, oil that's leaking down on exhaust manifold. Uh, headliners drop down. Now, all these little things like that, you know, that can be fixed. Uh, so I told him, I said, well, I don't know. I says, uh, probably going to get rid of it. So he has a friend who's uh, 19 years old, and he's working. He doesn't have a car. And I told him, I said, look, uh, you help me. I told uh, I told uh, stepson, I said, look, you help me with the little issues here. We'll take care of it. You pay for the car so he can pay for it. And uh, we won't charge any labor. And I said, we'll just give him the car, you know, to help him out. So that's kind of what we're doing right now, kind of going over some issues to see what uh, needs to be taken care of. Of course, the headliner, you know, I'm not concerned about that. You know, the car can still be driven, but I want the car to kind of be reliable enough so, you know, for this fellow to get him on a good start in life. So uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. You know, while, while we're here, let me show you two more tests on this here ultrasonic diagnostic tool, and then we'll, we'll get ready to wrap this thing up. Okay, so now what we're going to do now, just as a demonstration, I switched over to the hollow tube. So I'm just going to kind of run it down on this uh, spark plug line. Let's say you got some uh, weather stripping around your doors or maybe your sun uh, roof 
and I have had good success on finding leaks around sun roofs and finding out exactly where the issue was at or maybe a truck. So this is where the transmitter comes in. So here's the transmitter. It's generating a high frequency pulses. And you can oh, see wow. it's picking it up. So let's say we want to go around this here door and we want to find out if the weather stripping is leaking. We take our transmitter, just sit it in the seat, close the door, and now we just go around the molding. Go around the rubber molding, and if we start here in church, then we know that we've got a leak in that particular area, and it will tell you. Okay? You can see right wow, here, nothing. everything is fine. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's just another example of what you can use an ultrasonic diagnostic tool for in helping you out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the video, be sure to subscribe. Click on the notification bell. You'll be notified of new videos. And we'll see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.